Hello, today I am going to show you procedure to take a screenshot of ANSI's workbench screens. Um, in ANSI's workbench, we have an option to take um, a screenshot of the image, um, image to file. Um, but the problem with this is it's going to take only the image of the graphic screen. This area is called um, graphic screen. Uh, you may not be able to take a screenshot of the full screen that you see on this. Okay, I'm going to explain this procedure using uh, ANSYS ACT um, programming. The one advantage of ANSYS ACT programming is that it works based on dotnet framework what it means is that you could do almost anything that you do on a windows operating system in windows operating system um, you have tools like um, snipper or grabber or you can do a print screen and so on those functionalities can be called within a uh, workbench okay so at the end what we are going to uh, achieve is that uh, take screenshot of just move to all the uh, tree objects and take the full uh, screenshot of each and every object that you see here something like this we are going to see uh, today so just go here and uh, keep capture all the screens you can see you can see the uh, items moving here next tree next tree you can just show the mesh controls and what is the body sizing you have given here and all those stuff you could do um, you could capture every screen in a full screen mode okay that's what we are going to learn today and um, we'll just delete all these files for now okay let's understand the uh, basics first <coughs> okay here is the program that you're supposed to use for this I would expect um, you to know a little bit of um, Python programming, a little bit of um, basic understanding of .NET framework and so on. Okay? Um, most of the commands that we are going to use here is not specific to ANSYS as such. Um, it's, a, it's a .NET framework feature. Okay? Um, really these commands are nothing to do with uh, ANSYS as such okay okay um, in in um, .NET framework or um, in NPython we have a option to define a bitmap image we are going to first define an image for that image we are going to say um, what is the uh, width and height of the image then we are capturing that image um, into a BMP uh, format then we are going to um, specify the area that we want to capture okay so uh, from 0 comma 0 of your screen size these dimensions are in pixels and uh, start from 0 comma 0 that's the top left corner and capture the full width and height of the screen and save that file into a path you have to specify a path uh, say I'm saying here I want to save uh, at this location D delete screenshots and so on let's let's execute this and see what happens okay? um, let me clear all the old commands that I have um, let me also bring this up here okay? when I execute this you see that image um, being captured and as a as a PNG file here, right? Um, okay, I don't want this to be displayed. Uh, let's delete that. Whatever you see on the screen, it's it's basically like um, a print screen functionality that you you use in um, a Windows operating system. Okay, um, screenshot. Okay, you see that entire screen is captured here. Let's say, for example, for some reason you don't want to capture the screen, you want to capture only a portion of the screen, right? Um, we have option here um, say for a, for example 
um, say we want to capture um, only um, only from here to here like um, you know only you don't you want to capture only up to here the outline tree and um, the detailed view okay what you can do is that you need to know the dimensions here okay what is the starting point here what is the width and what is the height and so on um, to to understand that I use um, a freeware called uh, Mofkey's tool what it does in the sense if you want to know what is the pixel coordinate of any point of your screen let's say I want to know what is this this particular points um, coordinate just keep your mouse there and hit the space bar once you hit it on this um, X and Y coordinate you get it here okay say now I want to start from this corner eventually this is going to be 0 comma 0 uh, I'm not exactly keeping so you are seeing uh, 1 and 0 I want to capture up to here um, this uh, say let's say up to this point uh, bottom so this is around 550 comma uh, 1010 or something okay that's the area um, I want to capture now let's see how to do that so the, the procedure is same um, you are giving changing some other file name now the bitmap size what I want to capture is 1050.1130 and it's I'm not capturing the full screen instead I'm just going to capture 550 uh, things like that okay that's what I'm going to do let's let's see what's going to uh, happen now um, if I execute this and go to your folder you will see another um, screen like this which will capture only up to that area whatever you have specified okay uh, i have given up to here uh, till the end probably let me see uh, how i can avoid that you can you can just go and change as you like um uh, let me see is 1036 okay let's it's good to make a, a round off number uh, 1035 and 1035 let's see now how it's going to look like um, let's close this uh, let's all close this as well okay let's go back and see how it looks like okay see that the, the bottom area is gone now okay it's quite neat okay all right now let us um, consider another situation um, where you have few uh, screenshots um, or images you want to combine them um, into a single video file uh, uh, something like this um, to do that let's look at uh, how we can um, uh, achieve this there is a, a nice program called uh, ffmpeg um, you could use this ffmpeg uh, program uh, this has a capability to combine uh, multiple image files uh, into a single um, video you could download this program uh, from this link uh, the detailed instructions are uh, given how to download and how to start using it let's have a uh, look at this again I repeat uh, to use these windows functionality you need to have little understanding you don't want to be a um, kind of a programmer uh, but you need to have a little understanding of uh, .NET framework language uh, like C sharp or in Python and so on okay so basically what I'm trying to do is that I'm trying to set the path of uh, this ffmpeg uh, executor then I'm specifying uh, where my uh, where is my images are kept and here um, there are there could be many files um, I can't say all the file names um, but I have to say um, any file name that start start with a tree as you are seeing here a tree underscore and three decimals uh, 0, 0, 001 something like 0, 0, 002 anything with three decimals in an order okay with the PNG extension will be considered uh, it will use a um, uh, MPEG MP4 video codec and write the output file in the same folder okay let's uh, let's execute and see what let's bring this up and uh, this one let's say paste this 
Um, as you have seen, as you are executing this command, it opens the MPEG and create this video. If the video creation is successful, you will see uh, 0 as a return. If there is any issue, you will see 1 as a return. Now the video is ready. You could uh, play this video. You could uh, see all the 5 images um, are cap converted into a, a single uh, video file. You could um, share this with somebody okay all right having understood um, the basics of capturing workbench screen either in full or part now let's see the practical application of it okay let's say you have a, a model which contains some proprietary information or uh, salient design features um, you want to you want to share the the setup procedure with somebody it may be your uh, supplier who works for um, you as well as your competitor you don't want to really uh, send the workbench model as such workbench project archive as such such that he not only understand the setup procedure but he also has access to uh, your proprietary material data or salient um, features um, in your uh, model so uh, what he could do we could use this logic to capture go through all the um, all the tree objects one by one he can look at the detail view and understand uh, where you have applied displacement how much displacement you have applied and where is your coordinate system uh, what's your node one node two so everything you can understand okay let's see uh, how we can um, do that so what i have done i have uh, put together a, a simple program what it is going to do is it's going to capture all your project directory user files okay it's a blank once i execute this what it's going to do is it's it it is going to go through all these items and captures the images one by one okay finally what it does it also creates um, a video now if you go um, I'm sorry I kept this uh, window uh, at friend let me uh, demonstrate it uh, once again um, okay let's let's uh, bring this down and execute uh, this command okay it goes through all the tree items uh, one by one and your video is ready now okay one two three okay all the tree items one by one so you could set the frame rate in um, uh, MPEG converter so that um, somebody want to understand uh, he can uh, pause the video say so somebody want to understand the analysis setting uh, you keep the analysis setting open uh, and they can go and understand all those stuffs okay so you still have a control what information you want to show what not to show um, and the, the advantage of doing it as a video is they can um, really pause at any time and spend little time and understand uh, what happens okay uh, let's say you don't want to share the full screen but you want to share only the uh, setup related stuff uh, let's see an example i will delete all these things and um, uh, bring back only the pod screen stuff um, let's let's see here Okay, user files. Now there is a video two. Um, this video two contains only a portion of a screen that you want to share. Okay, so only these details. So I hope you have um, learned some automation procedure uh, today. Um, if you have little understanding of dotnet framework um, languages i think you can uh, do it um, if you are not um, really learned 
if you are yet to learn um, some dotnet framework languages um, you can reach out uh, consulting options thank you